Yeah. Friday Night Flies. Friday Night Flies with Scotty Holmes and Dad uh, Boulder and Big Bad Brad. We're all here tonight. Um, hopefully answering some more questions. Uh, we answered some questions on the last show. Uh, we love feedback. We had a question from Russia. We had a question from Michigan. We had a Spain. question... From and, Spain. and from Spain, yes, and from Spain. Sorry, that's crazy. Sorry, yeah. All over the world. We, ha we had to go to translate because uh, we didn't understand. We didn't understand what they were asking us. So, but that's okay. We got her down. We did, and Thanks. we and we could do it again. If we had to translate again, we would be ready. We got Google Translate. We're on fire here, buddy. Yeah, on fire. On Man fire. with the master plan behind the big computer here. Anyhow, Scotty, what are you tying tonight? Well, tonight I'm going to tie a sort of a, a West Coast twist on an Atlantic salmon fly. Um, this flyer that where I got the inspiration for it was from a, a very old pattern. It was called the Black Jay. Um, it comes from, I believe it was the late 1800s, like in the 1890s, sometime in that point. But this is when, when fly tying didn't have, there was there was definitely no synthetic materials and you you know, you had thread and you had so you had the basics, right? So yeah. they came up with basic flies, but I mean I something it's simple. I think it's gonna catch a lot of fish, you know. I think the uh, the ability to sink. I, I'm gonna fish this with a with a with a sinking tip. I mean, definitely something that wouldn't have been available in, in the 1800s. 1800s. Yeah, no, but tie a rock on and off they go. Yeah, yeah. But uh, we're putting a West Coast twist on it by adding a few uh, popular West Coast items like UV chenille. We're gonna put a, we're gonna put a cone head on it. Um, this has got a uh, this fly has a UV clear fly finish head, which I like also. It works It works well. It holds. It definitely holds the fly together. I'm going to go down to it, show us the fly okay. a little bit. This isn't exactly the one we're going to have tonight, but this is going to give you a quick well, idea. This is the structure. We have, we have the tail. Here we have a red, we have a red feather from uh, off of a Lady Amherst tail. And a chunk of schlappen. And then we have a, a big chunk of schlappen. We have some... Uh, some Guten Broad, or actually that this one here was tied with Antron yarn, and then we have our Schlappen, and then we have our uh, UV chenille on the front. Finish off with a uh, whip, you know, uh, tie up a head on it, and, uh, and you can make that big. You can make that bigger. You can make it small. You can make it hot. Whatever you want, right? It's really up to you. And, and once, then once again, hit us with your questions. We love questions. Yeah, no, we want we want your questions, and uh, yeah, so I'm ready to, I'll get ready to start other tying. To do then. Uh, Drop dry humor on you. So we'll uh, let's get to work. Scott. Okay. Well, we'll pull this out, and I'm gonna put another one in. This is I'll I'll show you the package. It's a size. Let's see the hook package. What do we got there? One aught. One aught moustad. Yeah, chemically sharpened hooks. Very yeah. very sharp stuff. Okay. Very sharp stuff. Um. I am not the biggest fan of Moostad hooks, I'd have to say. I, they're all right. They, they tend to rust. That's the part I don't like. Everything else I like about them, but they rust, and that drives me crazy. Well, they shouldn't last that long in your fly box either, Scott. So well, there you go. I guess you're not, you're, not, you're not trying to keep them out forever, right? That's the right idea. We sell more hooks if they, the if they didn't the rust. Yeah, then, yeah, okay. So um, I got a cone head on this one here. We're going to put a cone head on it just because it's different. See, You can see how easy it is to change the fly up, change the way the fly looks. You got her. Spice okay, it up. So, make yeah, it we're going to spice good. it up. We're just going to tie on our thread. And get rid of that piece there. Go. Keep going. Yeah, and we're going to tie on our Guten Brown. Starting right about there. See, I'm going, I'm going blind tonight, Brad. I can't see. Just, hey, when you're good, man, you don't need glasses. Just go by feel. It's all feel. It's all by feel, buddy. Get that in there nice and secure. And then we're going to tie on because we're, with the fly that I showed you, I tied um, a red rib because it was a, it was a red 
feather on there. So this one here, we're going to tie on. Uh, mm -hmm. Fluorescent chartreuse. Look at that. Yeah, oh. fluorescent chartreuse wire. Bang. And then you're going to have to throw on that big tail feather. Man, we've been hit with some nice weather here in Pamela. Yeah, yeah it sure has been nice. It just nice. makes me want to get outside. Even if it's just to have a bonfire, cook a few weenies down by the river. Got a nice sunny day today. Oh, man. That really puts smiles on people's face. The sunshine. Oh, it does. Everybody a little bit friendlier. And it does. And we'll just tighten everything up. Neaten up is, or tidy up as Davy McPhail would say. Tighten her up. Tidy it up, yeah. I almost like you better with your two glasses on, doubled up. Do you like that better? I can no, do that. I'm just kidding. I'm it doesn't matter. I mean, so uh, <laughs> I'm just kidding. No, we're gonna go with the, uh, the chartreuse. With the chartreuse tail, yeah. What's that stuff called again? Lady Amherst. That's Lady Amherst tail feather, or this is the head. head this head. is a, this the is the from the neck. Right there. Spud Valley, I can get that. No. Tight. Oh, sorry. Uh, uh. So again, you don't need a you don't need a huge tail on it. Line up your tips. Anyway, I'm gonna get some of that stuff. Pretty sexy stuff. I like how it has the little black tips. Yeah. And and you can also, Scotty, you can tie it. Um, I know I'm tying my tail. That's a little bit short. So it's just a little bit. It's nice and stiff. It is. I'd say maybe one and a third times. That's what I'm aiming for, anyways. Of the gape on the hook, there. I don't want it to be too long. Ridiculous on me. And then I'm going to finish off right in line with the, the barb of the hook. I'm just and then I'm going to bring my thread up from the to the top. Spread. Like all over the world. How do you get Germany? Make sure I get this tied in nice and I want to keep my body fairly even. So That's what it was. The two people from Russia. That was good. Hit us with some more hey, questions. How do you know about us in Little Town Beverly? Hey, the internet's an amazing thing. Yeah, it is. So I'm going to tie this in all the way to the top. Can't wait for Sean Mooney to tie in here and give us. Well, a we're going to be using Gutenbrod, Sean Mooney, so. Yeah, he'll pop up. He's going to pop up. I know he is. Up. And if he doesn't, he'll hear us talking about him anyhow. Here at Friday Night Flies, we're big Sean Mooney fans. We want to get him in on one of our shows. Yeah. Tie a fly for us. That would be cool, eh? I'd love to critique From Michigan? Flies. Where is he from, Michigan? He's, uh, yeah, I believe he's from Michigan, isn't he? I think so. You know what? I uh, I sent him a package of, uh, what the hell was it that I sent him again? You sent him Gutenbrod. No. No, no, it, wasn't it was all the, all the vinyl ribbing stuff. Which so I'm tying up I'm swans, tying up the Gutenbrod, making the, bottle of my, the body yeah. of my fly. Another one we can't pronounce. Yeah, another one of those <laughs> sticky things you can't. No, isn't he from Colorado? No, he definitely wasn't from Colorado. Sean, where are you from? <laughs> you we that. can't figure it out. Text in. We forget. And I want to take this to... Maybe it was Connecticut. Just a little like bit further. Okay. Right about there. I don't think it was Michigan. I just watched the fishing show. The fly fishing show where they went to destination Spain. It was unbelievable trout fishing. What kind of trout are they fishing for? Uh, rainbow. Man, I'm, I've got a... Now I've we're going to tie the rib up. Rainbow, the uh, tiger trout. Oh, from Alberta? No, they are uh, they might have them in Alberta, yeah. but I think they're down they in... Uh, I watched another one, fly fusion or whatever. They're, they're uh, trying to keep it 
as They're nice and even as possible. Alberta and they have tiger. Makes tiger it look nice and pretty. What is it? A cross between a brook trout and a rainbow trout? I would like to say tiger yes, trout. I don't yeah. remember. I think so. Hey, this is your chance to shine. Throw us a question or an answer. And then somewhere there's a thing called the golden trout, and they look They're spectacular. Brown and uh, something, something else. But yeah, this destination Spain thing. Which they went at the time when the uh, the bull running was going on. Oh, okay. yeah, they did. Yeah, I saw Three that. That was really fishing. good. Eh? Oh, good. I well. saw that show. Yeah. And it, oh, it just looked awesome. But I guess you know, like it's no different than well, different than here. But like the same thing, you know, like you go somewhere else. Yeah, it's always something you've never done, right? So. And it's just you know, their scenery is different. Like we have beautiful landscapes in BC, okay. and beautiful well, rivers that we grow walk okay. on every so, day. So there we go. We got so our body basically in there, and then all we dream about is somewhere else. <laughs> and now <laughs> we're gonna tie on, do the same thing to us. Our slopping feather. You want to leave enough room between. There would be a lot more room as on the other fly when there's no when there wasn't a cone head, but we have a cone head here, so we have to work with what we have left from here into the cone to get our feathers in and get that chenille, and then get the chenille on there. I put the cone head on just to give it a little bit of weight. I fished it the other day and it monitorized it. And I didn't have the right sinking tip and it definitely did want, not want to get down. So, No, it is a bit of a parachute that fly for sure. Extreme close up. So we'll just pull all these fibers out. And start wrapping it. And it's really up to you to as to how many wraps you put in, you know, how how sparse you want it, how um how full you want your fly. I think that's pretty good for me. That looks pretty sexy. Okay. Oh, and it broke off. So something like that. And then we're going to put on AR UV dye polish nail black. It, it looks look purple. It, it does look purple. There's no question about yeah, it. There's hardly any black in it. I think maybe I put it in the wrong package, huh? Uh, no. no. That's just how they are. All that black UV is I just say black. I don't know if it's a big UV color. I think that's why they throw the purple in there. Okay. Dark. That's what counts. Either way, purple's a good salmon and steelhead color. So is uh, chartreuse. I love chartreuse. I love chartreuse. Yeah. Oh, I love, uh, it always makes me feel better fishing chartreuse. That or hot orange is another color. It's just if I got hot orange on my line and I'm fishing for salmon or I'm fishing for steelhead. <laughs> yeah, like those are those are my three favorite colors. Chartreuse. Hot orange and pink, yeah. right there. You know that if you've got a box full of flies that color, yeah, they'll never let you down. And we're just filling in behind the behind the cone head. It's pushing things back a little bit more than on the example fly. That's where it's going to end up anyhow when it's in the water. When it's in the water, exactly. Put 
Um, and there you have it. If I had a whip finishing tool, I'd whip finish it. Do you have a whip? Right in the top of my right case there. there. Somewhere. Yeah, there it is. Oh, yeah, okay. Bingo bango. Bingo bango. And I don't mind leaving my uh, my bead heads a little bit loose. Yeah, you could throw a little bit of UV on there or something, put your back on it, hold it there, whichever. But I mean, it doesn't really make a difference. You know, we'll pick it up, give it a little spin. Deadly. Very, very deadly. Anyhow, there you go. Friday night five, boys. We're going to move her up, sign her out. There you are, Scotty Holmes. Well, Scotty Holmes, uh, tying you up, a uh, uh, chartreuse salmon fly. Um, a little bit different than, uh, than this, but I think that's kind of the whole point, is just to show you how easy and how simple it is to change things around a little bit. You have a different fly. You Now you have a little bit more weight. you got a different color. But they're both tied the same way. There's, it's the same, it's the same uh, steps that you go through to tie one fly to the next. Um, this one here, you have a cone head. We don't have a cone head here, so a little, a little bit of a lesson. Hopefully, uh, it helps somebody out down the line. Um, Scotty Holmes in Friday Night Flies with uh, Big Bad Brad and Boulder. Um, Scotty's coming up. You're going to tie a dry fly now, yeah? Yeah. Yellow drink. There it is. There it is. Tight lines. Tight lines. Friday Night Flies. Scotty Holmes.